Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> so we are um, we are here with my newest um, baby in the nursery who is undergoing a, um, a somewhat of a makeover. And my last my first my my last video sorry, <laughs> sorry. this is third in a series of three. Um, the first video was the box opening and, you know, a review of this sculpt, uh, which is the Lanny Sculpt by Olga Hours, and it is the AA version. Um, my second video, which I posted this afternoon, um, was, you know, the mini reborning um, and the products that I used on this baby. And now we are going to create the perfect floppy two month old, somewhere between two and three month old baby. The absolute perfect floppiness. You know that floppiness that we all just live for? Okay, so I'll tell you what I have here. I have the body that came, it's a doe suede body. I, I guess, I, yeah, I guess you could call it a doe suede body. Um, that came with my Timu baby. Um, and I actually was, you know, I was impressed. I was, to be honest, I was impressed for the, you know, 30 some dollars I spent on this painted um, kit. I, I was impressed. It has a gathered chest and it has a gathered booty, which is a must um, for me with my babies. You know, I just noticed something. This kit has full limbs and I forgot to mention that. How strange. Um, anyway, um, so it already has zip ties in place, which is kind of cool, but I don't have any extras, so I'm really hoping I don't mess up. Um, I do have a, um, I, I do have an order coming from Dolls by Sandy uh, with her eyes, her Ico eyes, and some of the really teeny tiny zip ties that I really appreciate for my dolls. Um, these ones are a little bigger than I would like, but so I'm saying that this baby is, yeah, between two or three months old. So I want her to have, I don't know, you know, that, you know, that feeling <laughs> anyway, she's all dry now. She's all dry and, um, you know, her painting's dry, her glossing's done. In my opinion, I think she's really cute. I, I, you know, I'm sure there's lots of people um, that have their own opinions, but I think she's really cute. And I think the products that I used, um, you know, just gave her some pizzazz, really. I mean, just sort of brought her to life. Um, okay, so we've got the body. I have two different kinds of weighting materials, you guys. And I am a huge fan of using both of these weighting materials. I really enjoy using both and in most of my dolls I do use both so I have a bag of um, of the white glass beads now there is actually a discussion on my ladies Facebook group this morning because someone had reweighted their dolls and the contents of the doll was like a sand it looked it was kind of a beige sand look to it and the lady you know said is this sand and um one of my admins commented that that she thought it probably was sand but then um another friend of mine who lives here on my island um and who is a beautiful artist um she commented that it was it was actually called glass sand and so, you know, I don't know much about um, the different types of glass weighting because I have only ever ordered, um, you know, the white. I'll show you. There's a little bit spilled in the bag here. I have only ever ordered this type. And it is, it's finer than sand and it's glass. It's finer than sand. It's white, white, and, and I only order it from McPherson's. So that's the only weighting that I have. Well, I guess I've ordered from Dolls by Sandy too. Um, but that's the only glass type weighting I use because honestly, 
I just, the other stuff makes me nervous. Cause you know what? These babies are in my bed. You know, my, my granddaughter packs them around. Um, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, this glass sand or, or whatever is, it, there's something wrong with it. I just, I don't know. It's just outside my comfort zone. And, you know, I mean, obviously people find the craziest stuff in their reborns. Like I've heard of collectors finding cat litter, dirt, um, aquarium gravel, um, just, you know, just some crazy stuff. But just always remember that we, you know, we kiss these babies, or I do. Um, we kiss them, we cuddle them, we, um, you know, we put them in our beds, we let our grandkids hold them. So, you know, we want to make darn sure what is inside them um, is, you know, not something that grows bacteria or black mold or that type of stuff. So, I mean, as far as the vinyl goes, there's all kinds of um, talk about uh, replica reborns being um, made out of a, a type of vinyl that's not safe. Um, but, um, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't have any g really good information about that on either side. Um, but it is what it is. So, okay. Um, I'm going to put this in her, her rear end and I actually am going to use one of these Timu, um, stockings because this is actually, I have this double in two stockings and it is still leaking. So I think it was because I used a fairly, um, you know, poor quality stocking to begin with. So I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to knot, knot it like that. And, uh, you don't want it. This is going to be in the baby's rear end. Well, kind of rear end and abdomen because I really, really like when I pick my babies up, I like that sort of heft. You know, when you pick up a, even a young baby, when you lift them up, they're, you know, they're kind of, their, their bottom and their little chubby legs kind of give a heft when you lift them. So, um, so I'm going to just flip this around and I'm going to wrap it again. And I'm going to knot it like that. Um, and like I said, I, I mean, if you um, are wanting to use the poly pellets, you can do this exact same thing with the poly pellets. I'm just going to grab some scissors. Hold on. Because I don't need this big long. I got a nice good knot there. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I... You know, I wish that I could give you more information about this glass sand. I have heard of it. I've heard of people using something called blasting sand. I don't know what those things are. I, I don't know much about them. I mean, you can certainly Google it and find out. Um, but like I said, I use the Snow White glass beads from McPherson's or Dolls by Sandy, or you can get it at Bountiful Baby. That's just my um, preference. So I have this polyester stuffing. Um, this is what my Walmart is carrying. I used to be a stickler for just standard polyfill where it says polyfill on the bag. But man, oh man, you guys, this stuff, mind you, this is made in Canada, so I don't know if you can get it in the US. But if you're buying, um, if you're buying polyfill, not the brand polyfill, but you know, just a, a filling made out of poly. Um, make sure it says st uh, for stuffed toys. Um, see this one right at the top there under the eight ounces, it says stuffed toys. Make sure it says that because um, you know, you want your baby to be soft. And this is lovely, this product, it's lovely. I actually might even like it better than polyfill. So I am, um, I'm putting, I'm putting a little layer, okay, so there's the bum. I'm putting a little layer of poly fill um, in the in, in right in, in the bottom. 
in the baby's bottom because when I, you know, pick the baby up, pat its, its diaper, I don't want to feel the glass beads, the texture of the glass beads. It's not very realistic. So I put a layer of that in. See how I just kind of made this like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a, the shape of a mango. <laughs> Um, because you want it to stretch across the whole bottom. You don't want like a round ball. You want more of an, an oval shape would be the way. Because you want it to stretch out across that rear end. Bottom, rear end, booty, whatever you say. Um, you want it to, to stretch across. See, I'm just going to move the polyfill because I don't want to feel. Glass beads have, you know, a... A kind of a crunch to them you know when they move around so not the most pleasant feeling in the world this is um this is two pounds of poly pellet or i'm um, not poly pellets goodness sakes you guys i've had too much heat today this is two pounds of glass beads and i um see okay so i've got a nice kind of a mango shaped um and you can use poly pellets if you prefer but I have a mango shaped um, bundle in there that's like quadruple wrapped in, um, in nylons or knee highs, whatever you want to call them. But I have polyfill at the back, underneath, and, at, and in the front. So you can't feel that crunchy kind of texture. And see, look at that. You get a nice realistic booty. And when you go like this, when you pick the baby up and you're packing the baby around, all you're feeling is weight and softness, no like crunchy pellets. Okay, so I wasn't 100% sure what I was gonna do about the, um, the, the limbs, but I think I am going to put poly pellets in the limbs because I'm using all of my, now goodness gracious you guys, Go grab yourself a pack of funnels from the dollar store. Oh my gosh, I get these things everywhere. These poly pellets, they will be here in this house long after I'm gone. So I'm going to fill up these limbs with these poly pellets. And if you didn't see uh, my box opening, well, if you didn't see my box opening, go check it out. But see, I'm dropping them, you guys. Um, but I bought these poly pellets from, see, I don't know. There's, these have a very satisfying crunch and they have a nice, they have a nice weight to them. I'm gonna like fill, oh, see, see? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm brutal with these things. I'll vacuum afterwards. I'm literally going to fill up. I'm gonna fill like right because I want these legs to be on the heavier side. I'm filling right up to there. And then I'm going to take some, oh, see these have a nice weight. I just love the weight. You know, this is such an individual thing. Like weight is such an individual thing. But I like my babies on the heavier side. Like I really like them to feel, um, you know, a realistic weight. When I um, got my baby from my my baby from Russia, um, I think she had her weighted at five pounds, and I and, but she put in her ad on Reborns.com that she would weight her heavier, and I said, could you weight her to seven pounds because my you know my lightest baby was seven something. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pack. See, I'm packing that in tight, so it's not going anywhere. But ooh, I like the feel of that. And look how nice that thigh is. It's matted just beautifully. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to do the same with this. Goodness gracious, you guys, get a funnel. Actually, you know what? This is kind of boring. So I'm going to just show you guys something. I... Um... What I really wanted to sh share with you was the, because this, in my opinion, is the most important um, part. 
if you are waiting and putting together a baby that's about two to three months old that's still needing head support, that's still needing head support, really, really, really go easy on the polyfill. Go easy on the polyfill. See, we got that weight, we got that weight down there. But honestly, go easy with the polyfill. And I actually do not think that I am going to weight this baby um, other than the limbs and the and the you know in in the the rear end. I don't think I'm because I like this, you know, I like this feeling, this kind of <laughs> floppiness. And I am terrible, 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 terrible for overdoing the stuffing. Oh my gosh, when I first started waiting and stuffing babies, you guys, my babies look like linebackers. <laughs> like the ones that had three quarter limbs. They literally looked like linebackers because I would, st I don't know what I was thinking. I, you know, the, the more the better or something. I don't know. But they would be so stiff. And then, you know, I would buy, a, I would buy a doll from another different artist. And, um, the, and I would pick them up and I, they literally felt like picking up a real baby. And I, just because they had that that flop, so I'm filling these legs up pretty full, to be honest. So I may even do a little bit of um, weight kind of in the chest area because I'm going to have enough. I'm going to have enough to, to do that. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have enough. I don't know though. See, it's just it's such a, it's such an individual thing. It's such an individual thing for everybody. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put these legs on because they are full and they are not. Make sure you if you're going to use pellets, poly pellets. Some people put like a little cardboard, a little cardboard um, cover over. I'm not a fan of that because I change my mind about the weights of my babies all the time. And if you glue a little piece of cardboard over the hole, then it's ugh, it's just a pain trying to pull that off. Or, you know, if, I ever, if you ever sell the baby and somebody wants to do that, then they've got this piece of cardboard glued on there. Um, so I just, I mean, it's, if you stuff polyfill in there good and tight, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these legs on because um, cause it's gonna be really easy because the zip ties are already on. Um, you guys, when you're, when, you're, um, when you're trimming your zip ties, use a pair of toenail scissors. I have tried everything, but toenail scissors are, they're it. Like, you can get that, okay, see I, Okay, um, toenail scissors just work amazing because you can cut that zip tie, that edge, you know, that you cut off, you can cut it so short. And I mean, you can get toenail scissors at the dollar store for, well, a dollar fifty because there's no real dollar stores anymore. They should call them dollar fifty stores or my, or my friend, my friend Brenda's case, three dollar dollar stores. Um, Actually, you know what? She's going to be bigger than I thought. I was thinking that she was going to be about 18 inches. But now looking at her body stretched out. Oh, see, that's just the right heft. That is just the right heft. Like with her legs, her legs and, uh, and, and that. So this whole bag was a pound. So I've used about half the bag 
and um, and that was a two pound bag of um, glass beads. Oh, I got the butt. I just I got the booty just right. I got the booty just right. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, so she's so this is this is um, two and a half pounds um, that I've got in this baby. Two and a half pounds, and I've not done her you know her arms yet, but two and a half pounds. So another. She's, so she's going to be about three pounds. Yeah. After, you know, all said and done, either I put up in her, I either put that in her chest and put polyfill in her limbs or I make another bundle. I, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in her limbs because I really, like this here, this in here, this is where you want the not much polyfill. And I know it's so hard. It's so hard. You just want to stuff these guys. But this is, if you, if you, if you can stand it, not to put too much in the midriff, that's where you get that, you know, that feeling. <laughs> that's where you get that, um, you know, that bend, you know, when you pick the baby up and, uh, now I never weight my heads. I don't, I don't, I just polyfill my heads, but do you know what I mean? Like when you pick the baby up and you get that kind of like young baby kind of feel, that's where you get that is not putting too much in the midriff right there, but, but having a pretty good weight in the rear. That's where you get that. So I've made a huge mess here, you guys, as always. I've made a huge mess. Um, I think I'm going to, let's try, give this a try. So um, for those of you who may not have noticed, I will mention again, I ordered this baby on Timu from a company called Otard. Um, I have never dealt with them before, but this was nothing but a positive experience. Um, I was really happy. Oh, wow, that filled up fast. Okay, so this arm, that filled up fast. I'm quite happy with these, these, uh, these poly pellets as well. If you're wanting to put in an order, like when you order your baby, you can order your poly pellets at the same time. Um, because, uh, see, I just kind of filled that just the same way as I did the, uh, legs like just to that point can you see that goodness gracious <laughs> where are you guys there you are see oh did you see what i just did i just knocked the funnel over full of glass beads they're everywhere see i told you i'm craft challenged you guys didn't believe me but it's true i am anyway i make such a mess with these not as big of a mess as with glass beads though. Oh my gosh. And that stuff, it's crunchy forever. And especially when you have hardwood floors and you have like little grooves. Anyway, I'm just plugging this hole. I've put the uh, poly pellets in there, plugging this hole. And I'm just going to slap these arms on. Unfortunately, I can't put the head on because I don't have eyes yet. Um, but that will be, you know, number four in the series. That will be number four. I'm so pleased with the matting on these limbs. I'm just so pleased, you guys. Whew, it's hot in here. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Love it. Love it. Okay, so I just have the well, other arm to do. Then I'm going to have to vacuum because, oh man, I've made a mess. But you know what, guys? Wait your booty. Weight your legs, go easy on the polyfill. If you want, you know, that, that two to three month old baby, I don't even know what you call it. <laughs> but you want that feeling, that real feeling of realism, low on the polyfill. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Look out for when I put her eyes in. Um, I have two different color of beautiful Ico eyes to choose from. I am so excited, you guys, and I want you guys along with me. As always, take care.